my father, he was a big part of me and my mom's life. My mom actually met him through a blind date as well, I think. And um, they just connected, you know. It's about connection and impact, guys. God brings us through these trials and puts us in the path of these people for a reason. And everybody's got that special somebody out there, you know. And we lived in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on the waterway. Our house got flooded out by Hurricane Floyd. I was six years old at the time. And I remember when we were at this apartment or something motel and my dad had went back to the house to get some stuff um, and the house was still flooded with water and everything like that. I remember my dad carrying me and my mom out in waist deep water you know and um, that night that he went back to get some stuff he was trying to make money and the thing about my dad was that I didn't learn this later on until I was older. Um, he had a drug problem, you know, it was on and off, um, he was trying to make some money that night, and unfortunately, he didn't come home, he, my mom got that call, and he wasn't coming home, they found him dead in his car, And I am first born because I rise above the fire because, you know, we're all in this life and be taken away at any moment. My dad, he was a big part of me and my mom's life. My mom met him through a blind date and I know God puts people in our past for a reason and it's about connection and impact. And my dad, he was a good man. Um, from the flood in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, he went back that one night to get some stuff from the house and um, I remember him carrying us out from the house um, and that was in waist deep water and he had went back that one night we were staying at a motel that night and he was going back to get some stuff house still flooded with water and unfortunately my mom got that call he wasn't coming home and unfortunately they found him dead in his car from a drug overdose, and my dad, he just had that problem of drugs, uh, and he was trying to make money that night, as I said, if I hadn't already said. You gotta fight, guys, everybody's been dealt some bad hands, and God only gives you one life, guys. And you gotta do with it what you can and inspire others because any second this life can be taken away from you. Remember that. And my dad was a big part of me and my mom's life. My mom met him through a blind date and I believe God puts people in our past for a reason and it's about connection and impact. And from the flood from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the waterway we lived on, our house got flooded out and at the time, we were living in a motel just until we could find another place. Um, my dad went back to the house that was flooded and it was still flooded with water. And he was trying to make money that night. And unfortunately, what I did not know until I got older was my dad, he had a drug problem on and off. And um, unfortunately that night, my mom got the call. He was never coming home and they found him dead in the car, overdosed from drugs. I don't know what drug it was, but he overdosed and I didn't find out he had a drug problem until I got older, you know. I thought it was just carbon monoxide poisoning, but you no, know, unfortunately, his life was taken away from drugs. Um, I miss him every day. He's one of the reasons I do this. 
and uh, I know I'll see him again. And that's what you gotta know, guys. Any moment, your life can be taken away just like that from decisions. It's all about decisions. And um, my dad, he was a good man, good family man. I loved him very much, and my mom loved him very much. It was just unfortunate we lost him that way. You know, that's why you gotta hug your loved ones tight, never let them go. Because you never know when it's your time to go. So, I am first born because I am here to motivate and inspire and rise above the fire myself and help others rise above the fire. In any situation, you know, life can be taken away at any moment. So, you gotta embrace it, embrace life. And death is not the end of life, it's the beginning because taking God, taking the Heavenly Father, and you know that Jesus Christ died for your sins and rose on the third day, you have a home with Him. And that's what I want to just tell you guys. Just appreciate what you have and just push forward with everything you got because you never know. So that's why I am first born. I help others each and every way I can. It's blood, sweat, and tears for me. And I make it my sole purpose to become a first form elite athlete and make my dream come true. And just keep on inspiring and motivating people any way I can. If I inspire one person, I've done my job. I've done the gift that God's given me. It's connection and impact. It's more than just lifting heavy weight. If you can lift the weight in the gym, the heavy weight in the gym, you can lift the heavy weight of the world off your back. With God, you can conquer the world. Inspiration, motivation, connection, and impact. Rise above your struggles. Your struggles make your strength. So, appreciate the life you have, guys, and just motivating and inspired. It's your boy, Scrappy Muscle here. I am the next first one to be the athlete. Shout out to my family.